Hi guys, just going to do another one of my bargain store projects, recycling. Um, made some wheels the other day from a VHS video cassette spool. There they are, so I'm going to use them. Uh, used one of these sound activated LED lights. That's the bits that are left of it, so I'm going to use that. Took the fan out of this USB powered notebook cooler and made the um, hovercraft with it. So, what I'm going to do is take the motor out of there. Hot glue it on there, hot glue a couple of wheels on it, and see if it's got enough power to pull itself forwards. Short and sweet. Right, I've even stuck the propeller blade off of the, um, I can't remember what we called that car now, but it's off an old rubber band powered aeroplane just to try and give me a bit more um, thrust. Stick some batteries in. <laughs> it can't really, it can't really cope, can it? what would happen if I gave it my usual 9 volt batteries instead of just 4.5 that's really not moving it at all Incredibly silly. Let's see if I can find a couple of nine volt batteries that aren't completely flat. Right, I've had to admit that I'm never going to get this moving with a fan or a propeller blade. There's just not enough power in that motor, so I've got some of these, I suppose you'd call them craft uh, cotton reels. I've used one of them to make a pulley, and I've stuck a bit of cardboard on the outside of it to make it put a larger lip on it. I've put a foam disc on this wheel and a bit of cardboard on the outside of that, so I've now got a pulley set up. The motor's just hot glued in place. And if I connect the battery up... There we go. So we'll go and stick that on the floor and see if it runs. Runs on the desk, so we'll try the try the floor. Right, I've had to modify it several times now. I've now put a much thinner pulley on there to reduce the gearing because we really haven't got much power coming out of this motor at all. But we'll see if we can get it to run. go. Success. Finally managed to get something 
that worked with that little motor. It's all down to the fact that it's got such a small power output. I had to put that gearing right down to give it enough to actually drive the car forwards. But, success. So a quick review. Uh, again, wheels, well this is a recycled bargain store project. Um, not quite sure what to call it. I think I'll call it bargain store project recycled number one. Uh, the main chassis there is the remains of the sound activated or yes sound activated LED light. The motor electric motors come out of a USB notebook cooler and the wheels are um, made from VHS cassette spools. That's the spools that the tapes normally wound up on. Um, the big pulley on that side, that's just a piece of foam cut from a polystyrene foam cut from a pizza tray. And the little pulley, that's just a little piece of, um, I think that's a barbecue skewer. Just a very short length with a couple of bits of cardboard, a couple of cardboard discs either side to make it into a pulley. And that's giving us just the right gearing to give it enough power from that very low powered motor to drive that wheel and actually drive the car forwards. You can see it's actually spinning free there because I've got to keep the tension as low as possible. There we go.